I'm here with Gopal, the Chief Technology Officer for Geetab University. How are you doing, Gopal? Oh, great, thank you. You won the Education Project Award sponsored by Zilliqa yesterday at the Innovate APAC Awards 2023. How do you feel? Oh, excellent. <laughs> what do you think about the event? Exciting. Very good. Yeah, uh, Met some nice people, uh, networked. Yeah, quite vibrant, I should say. Let's delve into your project a little bit, right? Hybrid learning, hybrid teaching, everyone's trying to do it. Everyone has their own way of approaching it. What is the way Geetam University is implementing hybrid learning and teaching? Well, um, uh, uh, perhaps two and a half, three years back, we were uh, not even into any of these advanced mm. classroom session per se. But then, you know, COVID uh, uh, brought us to a situation where we were looking at new, uh, a better way or different way of doing things. Mm. Um, I should thank our president, you know, uh, Shri Bharat, um, uh, who had this uh, uh, vision, a very uh, uh, an ambitious vision, I must say, uh, to uh, unify all campuses into a single classroom. Mm. We have four campuses across four different provinces, uh, three provinces actually, um, and uh, three hospitals. So um, he had this very uh, 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 great vision of how do we uh, make all these campuses into a single classroom. So that was the beginning of this thought. Uh, and uh, and he also uh, 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 had this uh, long term strategy that uh, he felt uh, this hybrid uh, culture uh, is is not something temporary or something that's going to go away after covid goes away it's something that's going to stay for 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 next near future so uh, he was the one who charted the plan and uh, he gave us free hand to to uh, uh, to explore and to design uh, a, a hybrid uh, way of running the classes and that was how it all began. Hmm. So uh, uh, from there, we uh, embarked on the journey of uh, getting 185 classrooms in less than two months uh, uh, during COVID time, hmm. which again, you know, a very challenging task. Uh, but uh, thanks to him and other senior management at Geetam University, uh, we were able to pull the task successfully yep. in, in less than three, four months. And, uh, and obviously, I got a lot of help from every industry. Uh, uh, a lot of OEMs came on board. Uh, uh, like I was saying earlier, you know, I'm, myself, I'm pretty much new to the uh, AV OEM industry, mm. but then uh, the technology out there is so exciting, uh, uh, so innovative. Uh, so we're able to, uh, uh, you know, uh, take on board uh, a lot of new stuff and able to, uh, you know, uh, pull this feat successfully in less than three months. Mm. Yeah. And I've obviously had the privilege of talking to you about Geetam University and the AV deployment. And I've also had the privilege of reading through the entry document that you guys put together. One of the things that really stood out to me was the focus on remote management and yes. monitoring, making sure that everything is monitored so that you get return on investment. That's obviously something that needs yeah. to evolve as well. So could you tell me a bit about where you plan on taking this almost dedication to making sure that you get every single ounce of value from every single cent that you invest in technology. Yeah, yep. Uh, again, um, uh, like I was talking earlier, uh, 185 classrooms is not a, is not a, a small yeah. uh, a venture to, to closely monitor and uh, uh, provide support uh, because uh, we're talking uh, uh, three campuses remotely in three different provinces and uh, ability to uh, ensure uh, each and every device is working in every single classroom. Um, so we're talking about uh, close to uh, uh, 15 I.O. devices uh, in each of these uh, uh, 185 classrooms. And uh, every time a professor walks in, uh, the system should be able to take care of itself, ensuring that every single gadget inside the classroom is actually functional. So we were out there in the market looking for a few things around, uh, see what kind of monitoring and control solutions are available. Uh, uh, but uh, um, uh, unfortunately, we couldn't find uh, any, any single solution, you know, that checks all the boxes and that fits our solution. So, uh, again, uh, uh, thanks to my management and uh, uh, Bharat Karu and, uh, and uh, uh, other senior management, uh, we, we sat together and we figured that, you know, why can't we make our own, mm. you know. Um, so that's where we uh, start developing our own platform. Um, uh, and obviously, we took some help from uh, uh, industry uh, OEMs like QSIS, uh, 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 from QSC, uh, we use their platform and with the help of their engineers and uh, we start developing our own code. So, uh, 
uh, I'll be glad to show you one day if it is possible. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, we are able to uh, uh, monitor uh, the performance and uh, 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 and the functionality of each and every device like projectors, uh, PTC cameras, and uh, um, microphones, um, uh, uh, Zoom sessions, document cameras, uh, you name it. So to a point where we are able to synchronize uh, the, the, the functionality of each device to the, the LMS um, and the classroom sessions so that the university gets precise metrics of how a classroom is being utilized. So we know exactly how many hours a, a Zoom session was run. We know uh, how many times the, the professor actually used a, a document camera, for instance. So this gives a lot of insights uh, to the university uh, in terms of how do we uh, uh, leverage technology to uh, provide these classrooms to the professors who actually best utilize them for engaging in digital pedagogy with the students. Hmm. At the same time, uh, economically, it was very good for us because we were able to uh, uh, control the lights and you know, air conditionings uh, in every classroom remotely uh, in the same platform. So uh, uh, it, it helps both uh, as an ROI, like you mentioned, in terms of cost savings. Uh, and also we, we were able to control the, the, the I.O. device in the classrooms using NFC cards of the, of the professors. Mm. So uh, it's a very tightly integrated solution and uh, a very clean solution, ability to provide remote support uh, centrally from one of our campuses to all the four campuses, ability to support professors um, uh, over IP, um, ability to uh, uh, send uh, uh, fire alerts, ability to send uh, instant messages. So uh, we customize the solution uh, uh, very much to suit our um, academic engagements in yep. the classrooms. So uh, uh, thanks to QSC and uh, obviously Sigma also. Uh, uh, Sigma is the contractor that we engaged yep. upon, you know, to uh, build the classrooms together. Mm. So uh, we all came together and we were able to pull this off in, you know, in two and a half, three months. So it was great. Yeah, I... Hope that we're going to be covering this project very soon for our readers so that they can also get some more insight. Gopal, thank you so much for your time. Pleasure.